previously on the Bells of Beaumont Tower. Later in the press conference, Ingler was again asked about the recent disappearance of four MSU undergraduate students. So at the very least, that's six. Plus David, maybe. Plus this girl you and Chris saw. Would I make something like this up? Well, obviously, yeah, because it's unbelievable. The spirit at three tomorrow. The power at six by sundown. So you're gonna admit you're bullshitting my girlfriend? Kate! We have to promise. We have to make a pact. Oh, got her! It's going to be okay. What? It's going to be okay. What are you doing? Leave me alone! We're gonna get you away from this place! No. It's gonna be no, okay! The yes. tower, the tower. No! 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 Do you know where you are? Beaumont? Do you know your name? Vicky Letterby? Well, Vicky, I'm, I'm Nick Townsend, and this is Crystal Holmes. We're here to help you. What? Where am I? You're a Beaumont, sweetie. Do you remember why? Power. So tell me what you remember. I, I don't really know. All I remember is that I was at the library doing some research for a psych paper and most of the rest of the last day has been a total blur. Do you recall running into any information on the tower? Did you come across anything in the books while you were reading or maybe people you were talking to? I really don't know. I I was just browsing for a while and I don't even remember getting home from the library, really. You were resetting something when you looked at the tower. Do you have any idea what it was? Something about the, the tower at noon? I really have no idea. I'm very sorry. I really appreciate you helping me, but I really need to go home now. Where do you live? If you want, I can drive you home. That'd be nice. Thank you. What do you think happened? What do you think was going to happen so that you had to push me out of the way? We'll figure this out, I promise. Just let us know if you remember what you were saying out there. It could help us out a lot. Well, it seems we're still the only ones to make this connection. Yeah, or if anyone else has made it, they've kept their mouths shut. 
Why would they do that? No, well, because people would assume rightly that they're nuts. Or they know what's good for them. What do you mean? Well, think about it. Obviously, we're dealing with something very powerful here, and, and it's actually kind of unsettling that we've been allowed to pursue this. I mean... Wait. Allowed? You think that Boma might have power over us? Well, it's kind of hard to say, isn't it? I mean, that, that Vicky girl seems to have blacked out a whole day of memories. She doesn't know what was driving her. She has no idea who or, or what was responsible for her actions. But we were able to stop her. We saved her. Do we really know that, though? I mean, we can't be around her at all times. What if, what if she's meant to be sucked into the tower? Or more likely, what if she wants to be sucked in and was just telling us what we needed to hear to let her go? Look, I wouldn't be involved in this tower guard thing if I didn't think we were doing some good, but this is our first supposedly successful attempt, and I, I'm, I'm just saying we shouldn't be too quick to claim victory until we know more. You think we should keep an eye on her? Watch her dorm room? Where does she live? Uh, c c uh Case Hall, actually, but I, I just dropped her off in front. I, I have no idea what room she's in. I don't remember her last name. Started with a, a, a B, didn't it? I don't recall. God, now you've got me all concerned. Maybe we should start hanging out at Case Hall and keep an eye out for her, you think? Dude, if we saved her, then she's saved and fine. If she's going to go into the tower, then she's going to do it with or without us. So best we can do is just keep her eye out and see. You're right. If we catch her again, we'll know we need to try harder. Yeah, all right. All right, then. Nick, how are you dealing with all this? I don't know. Sometimes it's easy to forget about Ken, because we're trying to help other people and learn about the tower, but... Sometimes... Sometimes I don't care about all the other people. I just want my friend back. <laughs> God, that sounded like the cheesiest after-school special line ever, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's cool. I know how you feel. But, you know, remember, we really don't know what happened. I mean, maybe he's somewhere better now. Well, at least I'm glad we're not guarding tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna run back upstairs to the archives and, and look at stuff a little more. Um, I'm gonna catch you later, okay? I don't know how I feel about that, Meg. You don't have to do it tonight if you don't want to. I'm not going to have you do it alone. I mean, I'm not an asshole. I know you're not sure about this. I'm not either. But if they save that Vicky girl, we might be able to save somebody too. What if we can't, though? I mean, what if we can't help at all? Then what? You're worried about failure. But isn't it still failure if we don't even try? Is it? Thoughts. You seem a bit distracted. Yeah, I guess I am a bit. I was just thinking about... I don't know. This whole thing is making me question everything I feel. Well, what do you feel? Well, I... Did you ever get a feeling, a, a certain vibe for someone, or from someone? And you don't know if you can prove it, or if it's real, but it kind of... It kind of sticks in your head a bit, you know? You mean like, you don't know for sure what you're feeling is right, or even appropriate, under the circumstances? Yeah, it, it's like I had this strange, subtle, but not subtle feeling around this certain person lately. I don't know who I can talk to about it. Do I know this person? <laughs> yeah, you know them. You know them really well. 
Well, sometimes those little gut feelings are important. They're usually on to something. And you might be surprised to find out you're not alone in what your gut is telling you. Yeah. It's just that Jenna... Chris? I feel the same way, Nick. <laughs> I've been wanting to kiss you since we first met. But I was... And I don't care if Jonathan has a crush on me, too. I, I really don't. He wouldn't have wanted us to meet if he didn't think we'd be good together. Yeah. We've cuddled together. We've held hands. We've gone through a lot already. and Probably go through more. Let's just enjoy these feelings. Okay. Now kiss me again. Fourteen students, now confirmed missing, with at least three more suspected, as the strange disappearances begin to attract national attention. No word yet from the University or the East Lansing Police Department as to the working theory on the unexplained events. Are you watching this? Yes, I know. I know. We were able to stop this before, Charles. It doesn't have to be like this. It's harder now. Too many reporters. This is your area. It's only a matter of time. I'll think of something. Yeah? Don't worry, Ellie. We'll be fine. Everything's going to be fine soon. I'm, uh, I was just trying to figure out what, what Kent was working on, what Kent was, what Kent was reading. You be careful. Kent didn't exactly come up with all the answers. Maybe, maybe he did. I, I, I mean, before, before he went nuts, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get sucked up into any towers. Okay. Hey, I got a, I got an evening class. Uh, I should get going. Yeah, I actually came here to read myself. The, the tower, the tower stuff. Nick and I, Nick and I have that cover. You don't need to get involved. No, um. Homework. Oh, right. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, all right. Uh, see you later then. You take care. Why do you think all these people wanted to go in the tower? Do you think someone convinced them to go? Or were they just walking by and something just snapped inside them? I don't know. I've certainly never been tempted to stand in front and offer myself. Have you? No, but that's what scares me. What if we don't know? That Vicky girl that Crystal and Nick and John helped, they said she seemed kind of out of it. She didn't even remember anything. She may have no idea what was going on. Yeah, well... Well what? Meg, think about it. They were the only ones there. They could say whatever they wanted us to believe. 
Damon, these are my friends. Why on earth would they lie about this? And you saw for yourself what the tower can do. Yes, I certainly saw something. Well then... <laughs> I'm saying, what if they're behind it? What if they're controlling the tower? That's ridiculous. No, I'm serious. No one else seems to connect the tower to what's going on. We were with them when we saw what we saw, but that could have just been a show. I mean, maybe we're being played by them. I'm not even going to talk about this. Or, or what if it's not their fault? You know, what if they don't know that they're under something or someone else's control? Can you honestly say you haven't noticed them acting a bit strange lately? Yeah, actually. I think so. I've noticed it too. I mean, what if they sent us out here as some kind of a trap? Oh, Jesus, what if we're next? What if we're next to go up there? Or what if the tower doesn't do anything at all? You know, what if it was all just a trick? Damon, nobody could have staged what we saw. Well, either we're being lied to or we're being sacrificed. I'm not going to wait around to find out which one. Come on, let's go pay your roommate a visit. She isn't here. She's probably out thinking John. Damon. Tell you what, I'm gonna go to Jonathan's, and if they're not there, I'll go to Nick's. You stay here and call me on my cell if anyone shows up. You're leaving me alone? Someone has to stay here at your dorm in case anybody shows up, and you're safer here than out there. Okay. I'll call you if I find anyone, and if I don't, I'll see you later. I love you. I love you too. Penny? Hmm? For your thoughts? <laughs> too many right now. Penny wouldn't get you very much. A nickel? Well, gee, I think I'm worth more than a nickel. Two nickels. <laughs> Big spender. <laughs> a quarter. That's 25 thoughts. You really have more than 25 thoughts right now? <laughs> Maybe. How about just one? Well... I think I'd enjoy kissing you more if you quit smoking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, not that it's not fun or anything, I just, I don't know, for your own good. I don't know. Maybe I should hold future kisses until you give it up. All right, I'll quit. What? It, just like that, you'll quit. Sure, why not? You don't think I can quit? I just, I was kidding. I didn't really mean it. I've, I've been meaning to quit, and now I have a reason to. All right, but you better believe I'm going to hold you to it. Sure. I'll give you the rest of my last pack of cigarettes. Hello? Heard from uh, Damon and Meg? They check in yet? No, not yet. But they weren't going to check in for a while. Why? Oh, just... just wondering. Hey, man, I'm about to turn in. I'm exhausted. Hey, I tried checking out those books that Kent was looking at, but the... but the librarian said they were stolen. Yeah, I... I couldn't find it either. Maybe Kent stole them. We could try to search his place, I suppose. Uh, he might have kept notes on all this stuff. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow. You take care, all right? <laughs> you too, man. Bye-bye. Uh, just, just a second. Damon! What are you hiding from us, Jonathan? What? What, what? what do you mean? What is all that shit? Hey, man, I'm just, I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this, too. Yeah, right. I think you're hiding something from us. I think you, Nick, and Crystal are setting us up. And if you're making this shit up, so help me God. Jesus, Damon, you saw it for yourself. You saw the power for yourself. Can you imagine what it would be like to become light like that? To be engulfed in something more powerful than, than your mind could, could possibly comprehend? It, it's, it's beautiful when you, when you think about it. I was right. You're out of your mind. 
I'm gonna go to the police. I'm gonna tell them you're behind all these missing people. Well, like, I have that kind of power. O only Beaumont has that kind of power. It's had three quarters of a century to amass it. I'm just a, I'm just a third that age. I I'm just in awe of it. No, you're nuts. I'm leaving. Wait. C can I... Let, let me just show you something that might help explain, okay? Just hear me out for a second, please. an hour now. I tried calling John's because he said he was going there and then he was then he was coming here but he hasn't Ma called he didn't call me. S slow down, slow down. What's what's going on? <laughs> Meg, it's okay. It's okay. It's, don't overreact. No, tell us what's going on. He, he's not even answering his cell phone. Here, we'll try again. 5789, right? Um, yeah. It's ringing. Just his voicemail. You said you tried John's? Yeah, no one's there. Did you try Beaumont? We were there earlier and Damon became convinced that it was all a bunch of bullshit and he didn't believe you guys anymore. Well, that's what he said. Nick. Let's go, just, just to be sure, okay? I don't want to. Meg, we can't split up. We'll find him. Come on. Maybe he lied? Maybe maybe this was his intention to come here. Nick, let's not jump to conclusions. I'm, I'm sure he's fine. He's not fine! He's in that fucking tower! Let him go! Let him go, you sick fuck! It's gonna be alright, sweetie, I promise. I'm gonna try John's again. Hello? Jesus, John, where have you been? Has Damon been by there? Uh, no, man, I just got back from Meyer. Why, is something wrong? We found Damon's cell by the tower. Meg's hysterical. Jesus. Do you, do you want me to come down to Beaumont? No, we'll meet at my place. We'll be there in five. Okay, man. I'll see you then. Hey, uh, give Meg a hug for me, all right? Yeah, all right. Come on guys, let's go back to my place. I think it's time we told someone what we know. Told who? The police? They think we were involved. Well, obviously guarding the tower isn't working. I mean, we can't be there at all times, and Jesus, even if we could, we don't want to get involved in this. This is bigger than we are. We can still do a lot of good. We can become better at watching and stop splitting up. I mean, heck, we can go as a group every time now and skip classes and sleep during the day. Hey, I'm supposed to graduate soon. Come on, John. This is a bit more important, don't you think? I still think we should tell someone. I'm. We should get someone involved in this. The press, maybe? I mean, Channel 6? Something. All right, all right, all right. How about this? We go break into Kent's place, go through his stuff, see what he knew. Then before anyone knows Damon's missing, we go through his backpack and, and everything and see if he was lying to Meg and his intention was to go to the tower all along, okay? Let's see if we can find some evidence other than a couple of college kids claiming they saw a light show. Now, I've lived here my whole life. Hell, I was born here. I know how these people work. We're not going to be compelling if we come out with wild accusations right now, and we may even destroy the one window we have to find out what's really happening. I don't know, man. One more day. Two at the most. We don't want to be wrong about this. I agree with Jonathan. Okay. I'll help any way I can. We could use it, Meg. That means a lot. 
I'm so sorry I ever doubted you. I'll never doubt any of you again. I promise. So the tower guy. The tower guy. Authorities now believe the missing students may not be truly missing at all. Channel 6 has obtained confirmed reports that more than half of the supposedly missing students recently purchased airline tickets to Mexico on short notice, including the newest missing student, Vicki Letterby. Mexico City authorities have been alerted to the probability that college students are attending what has been described as an exclusive hedonistic gathering loosely organized through an email campaign. Because of the private and sexual nature of this party, it is understandable that many of the supposed missing did not tell even close friends and family. But according to the emails that Channel 6 has intercepted, we can probably expect the gathering to be over soon, and students will start returning within the week. Jason, how's the weather forecast? Next time on the Bells of Beaumont Tower. Don't get discouraged. All we have are pieces. Some of them may be from an entirely different puzzle. Jonathan! You need to realize how beautiful this is. You look like you found something. What? You think you can just speak the words? Meg! Oh god, thank god. Uh, can you come pick me up, please? The Cyclotron Lab. Meg's gonna be out of commission for a while, but Chris and Nick... I just can't keep throwing them off track.